Number one, it's what? Run. Number two, if that guy climbs and the end's going there, do I have a gap anymore? No. But if they go there and I turn and I take my attention right there, which is through my gap, and that guy turns on my end, what do I got to make sure I do? Now I got to go, I got to get into my B gap because he, I still have a B gap. So action two, I'm stepping in to clear my gap. Action away, I'm going to take my attention to that tackle end combination and find out what's happening. That's always going to happen. From that point, an inside run, from that point, if I now feel pass, one way or another, I saw which way the back went. What does that tell me? What does that tell me, which way that back went? And now I'm saying, okay, it's pass. What does that tell me? It tells me how to play. Why do so, if the back goes away and I'm stepping inside and I'm taking my attention to that, that's also taking me where? Where I want to be for my pass coverage. Because I know that if that back goes there, the guy who's relating to that back is going that way. I got to play it from inside out. Okay? And if the back goes here, I step in to clear my gap. Or if he goes wide, do I got to step into my gap now? Why not? Why not, Zaire? Huh? There is no more B gap, right? If he's going wide, that guy, he'd have to be Superman to go there and do that. No one does that, right? So if he goes wide, what am I doing? Exactly. But what am I, I'm sorry, can I work wider? Because why? Who's coming with me? Well, that, the mic's coming with me. So I'm already thinking, that's my going to be my coverage. I'm working and getting ready to cross face on that guy. So this guy is telling me everything. If he goes there, hard there, once again, I know it's pass or I know it's wide run. So I take my steps. I'm inside. To hold my inside, I take my attention back to two. That will always happen. Read the path of the back. Boom. I feel pass. Now I take my attention to two. So all that's already happened now. Now let's say that once it is pass, how are this pre safety and corner playing? How are you playing, Charles? If I'm the free safety? I'll be staying inside of number two. All the time, right? As long as what happens? As long, you're, you're inside of him as long as he runs what? As long as he's vertical. Okay? So what's that mean? What's a, how's a corner playing, Stanley? What is your technique when you're playing palms? You're looking at who? Who's your initial key? Number two. So what are, you, what are you doing? What is your, what are you going to do? What's he telling you to do? What do you have to do? Uh, mirror him. Mirror him how? how? What does that mean? Tell me what that means. There you go. So your steps are mirroring his steps. And also, what if he goes in? Is that that way as opposed to that way? You're basically, when you're mirroring him, are you going to come off at the same angle that he is too? So if he's flat, what's that tell you? Yeah, but is that going to be different? Is that different? Is this angle different than that angle? Both of them are inside releases. Are you going to take the same steps on one on each one of those? You're going to slide in a little bit, but if that guy's going hard, inside, what am I going to do? Am I still, when I say mirror him, if he's going really flat, it means it is, is myself, my initial steps are going to be flat. If he's inside and up, let's say Roach, he's going at that kind of a line, then I'm going to be going at that angle. I want to mirror not only his steps and his direction, I want to mirror his angle. Because more than likely, if you get that kind of angle, that means that guy's gonna, it won't, probably going to be quick game. If he's taking that kind of angle, that guy's going to end up taking that kind of angle too, and it's going to be a little bit deeper route. You understand what I'm saying there? Does that make sense to you? What else are we looking for? So in safety, you're playing, you're playing 
inside of two on any vertical route. So what are we looking for to happen? Let's say they both go vertical. What about, what's this buck going to do? Huh? They cover four? What are you going to do from there? You're going to play inside eye on that guy until what happens? Until something takes your eye. Right? So no cut number three extends outside. I'm going to build a wall and I'm going to be inside and put my hands on number two. Okay? What if two goes flat? What happens now, Charles? Well, first of all, what does a corner do? You come off? What is, what is the first thing? I said you got to mirror his steps. So what happens? What do you got to do? <coughs> Push for width, right? Yeah. Why is that important? Why do I not want you to just come off on him? The reason I want you to push for width first is to make sure that what? That if one's going vertical, what do I want him to do with that release? I want that thing to go inside because what's the safety have to do? You have to get over top of number one. So should your eyes ever be anywhere in there, Charles? Ever? When you're playing palms, aren't these two guys telling you everything? So do you even have to key? Do you, do you believe that if you're lined up for the play that the ball is going to be snapped at some point? You know, usually when the ball is snapped, these guys are going to move, right? So do you got to see the ball be snapped? No, you don't really, right? No. So that's going to tell the, is that where my eyes should be when the ball is snapped? That's going to keep me from looking back here and getting myself in trouble. Everybody understand that? So bucks, or anybody walked, you got to see the flow, and I'm always going to transfer my eyes to number two. And then he's going to tell me how to play from there. Does that mean I stay on my eyes on number two? So if I'm a buck linebacker and I know and I'm sitting there and I see the, the back check step up on my side and I feel it's passed and I'm working the number two, what do I do from when I'm working the number two? What do I do from that point once I get my hands on or try to get my hands on? What do I try to do? Stand up, Felici. I already know where the back stepped, right? Two are away from me. So when I work to him and he's working up the field, once I get my hands on, I'm looking at him to get my hands on. Once that happens, what do I want to do? I know where he is now. Then what do I want to do? Take a peek and see who, where who is, where number three is. It's like clockwork, every single time. And if I miss him, I'm going to be get in that area. He extends true. I'm going to get into here, and I'm going to turn back, and I'm going to look where number three is. And I'm not going to get any more width from that point. I'm going to sit there until something takes me wide. But I already know that's going to happen. I already know before the ball snap that's going to be the progression I go through. Back to number two. Back goes away. I, work, I don't work hard to my number two. Now I build a wall inside number two. Back my way, I work a little bit harder to number two because a mic came my way. Once I get to him, I take my eyes back to three. That's going to happen every time. If I'm the safety and corner, I'm reading number two, period. I don't give a shit what else has happened anywhere else on the field. All I'm doing is I'm reading that number two. That's it. Because he's going to tell me crack on the back. On the, on the linebacker, he's going to tell me pass. He's going to tell me everything. And as a corner, that number two guy is going to tell me not only run, pass, not only what type of pass, it's going to tell me the type of steps I need to be taking during, my, during the initial play when the play, when the ball snapped. So if my eyes are somewhere where they don't, know they don't need to be, I have no chance for success in that. Any questions there? Does anybody have any questions about Pittsburgh? Flow. It's a flow defense. Flow two, flow away. We haven't even got into the hands stuff yet. I'm just worried about initially, okay, where do we take our eyes? Where do we go? I can cover. If you guys, you guys got five more minutes? 
I want to take you through hands in this defense really quick. Because only hands, the only time hands happens is when? During a pro set. Okay? And I'm going to put it offset. Let's put it, uh, let's, let's get into 12, let's put it in 12. There's my Z, there's my X, and we get into fall rolls, and there's the offset back. Okay? So, when I say fall, what do I tell you you initially align, Buck? Bucks, where do you guys align? Right here. Where does a mic align? A gap. Where does a will align? Okay, what happens? What does it mean when we're falling and they're aligned right there, like that? What am I thinking if I'm the will linebacker? Let me ask you this. Are you falling if that guy's there? What I'm asking is this. What does that offset back mean to you guys? So what I'm so what I'm saying is, do you guys understand? Zaire, do you understand that that's already declared? That there's no really you've already that is already declared where you fall. So, and I don't even going to get into. We will teach you how same side zone will work, okay? But you're going to see that maybe once during the, during the year. Once that back is out of there, it's already declared. You got what gap? D gap. What gap do you have, Mike? A. What gap does a buck have? Huh? B. Period. What gap does the safety have? So if that goes there, is there ever a time that the will linebacker should ever move? Okay, now let's put them back on the other side. Say with solid left. What gap does the mic have, or the buck have? Huh? D, what gap does the mic have? So if you were to line up, if I was to put you in lineups in your gaps, the buck would align here, the mic would align here, and the will would play off of who? He'd play off of the, what happens to this tackle. So what do I know? Do I, when I get action, I know that a lot of times I'm going to get that kind of action. Where am, I, where am I always transferring my eyes, guys? To the tight. There's my threat. There to there. You're going to go, he goes there, there to there. He goes there, there to there. Back to the tight end. Back to the tight end. That's my threats. Nothing else on the field matters. If I'm a safety, it's only, the only thing that matters are these guys. These are my keys. Back to my key. That's it. That's the only place I should be looking. That's it. And do I... Now, let's put him in a different set. Once again, we're in fall rolls. We take that guy off and we put him over there. Okay? Now, it's one, two, three, four. So, where's the will? What gap does the will linebacker have now? Go ahead, tell me. What gap does the mic have? So, if you were to line, you'd line right there, right? So, what why, what gap does the buck have? Yeah, so you could basically align right there. Because that's where my coverage is. That's where everything's happening. So I already know where my eyes go to. If it's pass, is that guy a threat to you when you're relating to the back? Is he, when you're in a zone, is that guy a threat to this guy over here? Only if he comes my way, right? If he comes my way, he's my guy. And I'm just going to work with with and take him. But as long as he stays over there, where do I know where I'm going to take my eyes to? Am I ever going to step that way as long as the back's over on that side? The only things that can affect me are things from this side of the defense. 
That's it. I will never look out there because we got a corner and a free safety here going to take that dude and he's out of the game. He's done. All we're worried about is what's happening over here. I'm never going to step that way. I'm never going to fucking look that way. Excuse my language. Okay? Who's got this gap? Safety. Okay? Let's put the back over here. Does that change us at all? How does that change us now? Now they put the back over here. What's the difference now? Who you guys relate to and pass linebackers, safeties, that doesn't change, right? That does not change. But well, how does that affect the buck? What's your gap now, Jared? B gap. It's easy. Back here, I got a line to my back. That's my gap. So what gap does a mic have? A. Okay. Which safety is in the fit? Left safety. And you know you have a pair, uh, Will Linebackers. So you're going to play outside that pair, right? So is that any different than if they, if they lined like this and they ran this way and they did that? It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. It's already declared. You already know what gaps you have. Everybody understand that? What if they line up like this? Offset back and they do that. They put this tight end out here. Who's going to walk out on that guy? The buck. Okay? Who's in the fed? With, because that guy's out there, what gap does a will linebacker have? D. D. So does anything that's happened over there make a shit to you? What gap does a mic have? And he's in the gap. It's already declared, right? Put the back there. Buck, are you in the fit anymore? So what can we play over there? Do we have to play palms over there now, Charles? What can we play over there now? We can play over we can go four now because he's not really needed in the fit, right? So where's a Mike? What gap does a Mike linebacker have now? B. What gap does a Will linebacker have? Huh? A. Who's got this gap out here? Safety. It's already declared, right? Put the back. Let's go put this guy over here. Is that really much different than the pair? Who's in the fit now? What gap do you have, Jared? What gap's a buck have? B. What gap's a Mike have? A. Who's got the outside gap? Will. So what are we playing out there? Because of Will's in the fit. Does that safety have any run responsibility? What's his only run responsibility, Coop, if what happens? What if they do what? And that's going to, your, your vision's going to tell you, they crack, I'm going to crack the place. <clears throat> Pretty easy. What if they do this? It doesn't, let's put these guys anywhere. It doesn't make a shit. Let's say they go like this. They line up like this. Who's going to cover down on the number twos? Buck and Will. Who's in the run fit and who's not in the run fit? Will's in, Buck's not. There you go. It's already declared. Now let's just put it in ace. And now we let's put this guy right there. Okay? I'm sorry, there's too many guys. Let's put the guy right there. Quarterback's there, and they're in the gun eye. All we have to do is what? Now we are in truly in what? Fall. Now we're truly in fall. But do you have to fall far? So when I'm saying fall, if I'm the buck line, I always know that if I'm the safety, I'm going to be fall. I'm going to be in the what? If I'm in it, I'm going to be in an outside gap. If I'm the buck or the mic, if I'm a buck and that's the guy I'm relating to, and I'm the will and that's the guy I'm relating to, is there ever a chance 
that I will, what is always the case when I'm falling? I'm, I'm either falling for, to an outside gap or an inside gap, right? Will I ever have to cross the center? Why? Why ever will myself or the coaches ever ask you to relate to that guy in coverage and play a gap on the other side? Won't happen. So if I'm the Mike linebacker, I know that I'm following where? A to B. And if I'm the Buck, I'm following B to D. Let's put this guy over here now. If I'm the Will, does it matter now? What are you always playing now? You're always going to play the D gap unless what? This guy does what? Unless he sways. Okay, but now let's just leave him here. If I'm the Mike linebacker, I know I'm relating to that guy now. So where am I falling to? What are my two gaps that I could be falling to, depending on which way the action goes? There to there. And so if I'm the buck, where am I falling to? A to B. What happens if that happens? That overrides everything, right? Because what's going to happen when they sway, where's the run always going to go? Where's the line always going to go? Are they ever going to sway and zone this way? No. So once you see sway, that's easy. It's always going to be fall with the sway. The sway always overrides everything else. It doesn't make a shit where that back goes. Because just trust me, the line's always going to go this way. Okay. So once you see a got pair and the guy sways, we just go with the sway and believe me, everything will take care of itself. So that, that is your rule. That overrides everything else. Okay? So once again, it doesn't matter. We're still in base. It doesn't matter where they align, guys. It doesn't. So we say solid left. Okay? We say solid left. And they align with three guys out here, the quarterback here, who would be in the fit and who would be out of the fit? Solid left. Where would the buck be aligned? On which side? So who's in the fit? And who, or is, is a Mike in the fit? Is a Will in the fit? Who's in the fit? Who, what, where's a buck? What gap does a buck have? There you go. A. Why? Because there's three guys. There's the X. There's a Z, or somewhere in there is a Z, Z receiver. So if we're going to match up, which we say we match up, that's you who you're matched up on. The Mike's matched up here. The Will's matched up there at corner and safety. Your alignment will take you to your run fit. Boom. There's my run fit. So who would have this gap? Free safety. Now let's put the guy over here. Who's in the run fit now? Where's the buckle line? Solid left. The buck's there. The mic's got what gap? There you go. You do something to get it. But you're matched up. There's your coverage. There's my fit. Is this guy in a run fit anymore? No. What if it was gun eye? Huh? So, could you possibly be in the run fit, Mike? So where's the, so who's the guy who's fallen now? The buck is. And the mic could be in the fit. The buck, the mic, and the free safety could possibly be in the fit, right? If the zone came this way, the buck's there, the free safety's there. If the zone goes this way, the buck's here, the mic's in. But if you just think of it like this, guys, We've already identified that it's a pro set, okay? So you have a Z here, and you have an X here. There's going to be a running back and two other guys, a U, a Y, or a possibly an F. It doesn't make a damn where they align. You could have two guys lined over here, two guys lined over here, and it's always going to be the same rules. Just find your number twos, and that's going to tell you where where your fits are, where your alignments are, where you're possibly falling to. Does everybody understand that? Are we all on the same page. 
we don't need to go any further today. Appreciate you guys' time. Once again, you guys got the, if you guys have any 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 questions about if you guys go home and you guys are looking at this stuff and you say, God, I, Coach said this, I don't quite understand it. Please come see me. I want to keep. We'll start once we get past Pittsburgh, and we talk about you know, we'll start going a lot quicker. Because once you guys understand, you guys see how much of this comes down to your alignments and understanding where you align. If you just align correctly, all everything else will slow down for you. But you gotta do. It goes back to what we talked about in the first three things you gotta do before every play. Identifying where your threats are, all those things are going to make everything else a lot easier for you. But if you're not looking around, you don't even know what the formation is, and you don't know where to get lined up and why, you're going to have a hard time having success. It doesn't matter what the, excuse me, what defense you play in. Okay? Everything else will become easy for you. Make sure you guys get this stuff covered. Okay? All right, thanks, guys.